The Prime Minister is still refusing to discuss the government's controversial border protection approach, likening it to a secret wartime operation. But Indonesian politicians say Tony Abbott risks creating more conflict by violating another country's territorial waters. Indonesia correspondent George Roberts has more. On the campaign trail, the now Prime Minister vowed to run an open government. The last thing we want to do uh, is to hide anything from the Australian people. But stopping asylum seeker boats is now a top secret operation. We are in a, a fierce contest with these people smugglers and if uh, we were at war, we wouldn't be giving out information that is of use to the enemy. Curiously, asylum seekers have begun turning up on Indonesian shores, saying the Australian Navy forced them back and cut them adrift. Again, that's supposed to be a secret. They don't need to know exactly where every ship in the water is, but what we do expect to know is what's going on. It seems as though Mr Abbott thinks he's playing battleships in his bathtub. Some Indonesian politicians fear Mr Abbott's playing a high-stakes game. Because if this turning back the boat policy keeps going, I worry that it would not only cause foreign affairs rejection, but could be followed up by military action from the Navy, from Indonesian military. If that happens, I worry that the conflict will escalate. The Indonesian president's office told ABC News he supports his foreign minister's rejection of Australia's actions, but Australia reportedly plans to take it further, buying boats to send asylum seekers back in. A senior government source here in Jakarta says it's hard to see the difference between that and people smugglers providing boats to illegally leave Indonesia. The whole approach of sending asylum seekers back was described as intrusive, unacceptable and unhelpful. Others are more direct. This has become a smuggling operation which is legalised by the Australian government. This of course would not be accepted by the Indonesian military because it's a defence issue and is breaching water territory sovereignty. That's something Mr Abbott promised he would never do. George Roberts, ABC News, Jakarta.